hello everyone so welcome to today's session so in today we are going to see some of the common mistake that everyone does during their interview process or during their job hunting process so normally everyone will have a resume or will have a cv they will be doing some they will be mentioning some of the common mistakes or they are mentioning some of the uh, i would say some extra information that is not required in the resume so whatever is mentioned in your resume that might be causing a issue in your shortlisting process so let's understand what are the common mistake that you are doing in the resume session as we have already explained this in a previous session means in a very previous session i have already covered this on the resume preparation technique but still i'm saying i'm showing this to you again that what might be the issue in your resume preparation okay now let's go on to the screen and let's understand what are the mistake that you might you have been doing for all the time okay uh, so this is a resume you can see uh, so you can see this is a resume uh, left hand side it is a very well uh, prepared resume so in the content or font or um, if i say the structure of the resume is very good it is uh, uh, like if it is a uh, uh, someone is so, uh, seeing this resume they will be uh, find pretty much attractive resume but let's understand the content of the resume what should be the content of resume and uh, what is the issue over here okay so in the left hand side it is mentioned as summary so if you are a like experienced person directly you can write a summary rather you are writing the career objective like i want to uh, join in a very big forum or i want to join in a manufacturing industry i want to become as a sap mm consultant i want to help here so these kind of statements don't add if you are a experienced person so directly you can create a profile summary or you can write a profile summary so that is very good you can see in this resume it is very good so here you can see the work experience has been maintained everything has been written over here so if we go to the right hand side okay if we go to the right hand side here it is mentioned sap s4 hana mm knowledge and inside that it is mentioned that organization structure so here in the organization structure it is mentioned plant storage location purchasing organization assignment of uh, relevant elements of mm then again if we go to the master data it is maintained that uh, knowledge in creating and maintaining vendor master knowledge in material master data purchasing master info record source list and quota arrangement right so then again if we move down then you can see in the purchasing section procurement cycle customizing of uh, purchasing document type customizing of vendor master material master uh, and i'm not sure if it is maintained in the master data why it is again maintained in the purchasing section let like customization of uh, vendor master and material master uh, then creating the purchasing groups then creating the purchasing groups outline agreement vendor evaluation automatic purchase order okay this is in the purchasing so next one is schema procedure creating the schema procedure condition type asset sequence condition tables schema determination condition records special procurement consignment subcontracting valuation account assignment configuring the split valuation account determination automatic account posting release um, casting release release casting release to process uh purchase team to initiate the procurement uh production planning based on the project plan requirement from the project management team production planning and control at the work centers and assembly work closely with the procurement team to ensure the uniform material feeding to the machine shop okay so here if you can see and also there are other sections are there let's say inventory management goods movement like goods received uh, goods issue stock transfer transfer posting create reservations ers and 
मुमेंट टाइप गुड्स रिसिप्ट विदाउट परचेज ऑर्डर इनिशियल स्टॉक अपलोड रिलीजिंग स्ट्रैटेजी प्रोसीजर सो इफ वी समराइज इन सेंटेंस वी कैन सी दिस इज ए कोर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर एस और एज फॉर हाना इट इज़ अ कोर स्ट्रक्चर फॉर दैट वन दिस डोंट लुक लाइक अ रिज्यूम बट रादर दैन दिस इज लुक्स लाइक अ कोर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एस ए पी एम एम सो इफ यू आर ऑल्सो मैंशनिंग लाइक दिस डेफिनेटली नो वन विल कंसिडर यूर रिज्यूम ओके सो दिस इज काइंड ऑफ अ फ्रेशर रिज्यूम ओनली लुक्स लाइक अ फ्रेशर रिज्यूम यू हैव ओनली एडेड द कॉन्टेंट्स ओके सो इफ यू आर क्रिएटिंग अ प्रोफाइल क्रिएट अ प्रोफाइल इन अ गुड सेंस ओके how you can mention let's come to the organizational structure if you are mentioning that organization structure don't you you need not have to categorize this okay so if you are writing as a sap mm knowledge if you are a fresher if you are writing as a sap mm knowledge then you can maintain or you can write that i have worked on the organization structure creation and i have i have done the organization structure creation and i have assigned the different kinds of organization uh, in the mm organization structure so you can mention like uh, plants and storage location and uh, let's say any kind of purchasing organization that you can mention that in the organization structure i have these kind of activity i have done next next let's say master data so in the master data also if you are in a starting position or if you are uh, like mentioning the uh, in the master data section if you are mentioning something so just mention master data no consultant will create the master data okay so master data will be created for, for that there is a separate team is there they so no one no consultant will be creating the master data rather than you have to configure the background settings of the master data so for that you need to Uh, let's say material master what are the configurations are there you need to see and you need to write that for vendor master what are the configurations are there you need to write that rather you are writing that i have created the master data next one purchasing cycle if you are saying that you have worked on the purchasing cycle just mention that you have worked on the p2p cycle and you have worked on the special procurement types don't mention all in a let's say in a core structure like it uh, it is showing as a core structure okay so next one same with the schema procedure or let's say any kind of pricing procedure or accounting determination if you are mentioning so you can mention like uh, i have worked on the pricing procedure or i have a good knowledge on the pricing procedure or i have a good knowledge on the accounting determination likewise you have to maintain it or you have to write in in a sentence don't write it uh, like uh, like as what is it is mentioned over here it is looks like only like a core structure so if your resume is looking like this no one is going to shortlist that one this is a first thing unless there is a huge vacancies are there okay let's say there are a lot of vacancies are there and there are no people are there in the sap market so in that point of time might be these kind of resumes are also getting shortlisted okay so in current situation or in the normal situation these kind of cvs or these kind of resumes will not get shortlisted so prepare your resume perfectly so prepare your resume as a good resume okay write down in sentence whatever your work experience is whatever your knowledge is write in a sentence that i have worked on this one or i have knowledge on this one so just write it down okay don't just put it in a like it can uh, it will be uh, showing as a core structure not like your experience or not like your knowledge okay so that's it for today that's that will be the suggestion from my side whenever you are going to create a resume so you can Uh, keep these things on mind so this will be a very much will be a deciding factor while your uh, interview is getting scheduled or your profile is going to be shortlisted so this will be a very important factor for uh, your uh, profile needs to be shortlisted so please keep in keep this in your mind okay and uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not yet subscribed to the channel i can see there are multiple people are there many people are there i can see only 48% uh, of our viewers they have only subscribed to the channel and uh, rest of the people please 
subscribe to the channel it will help me also and help others also so it will be reachable to every people that they will be able to um, get the knowledge what they need they it will be helpful for them so definitely do subscribe to the channel if you like the video please hit the like button if you don't like please hit the dislike button also no issues on that one and uh, please do subscribe so that's it for today we'll meet up again in uh, one more video till then bye bye and jai hind